Schwischte von den Bullen, doch sie haben keine Conny Bro. Tu mir so, komm ich nur, nein, ich muss ein Conny Bro. Von Grauen erstmal einen Besen, von verschlafen in ihr Brücken schon und habe Teufel zu tun. Hey friends, I'm Papa Joe and welcome to a new video on my channel. I hope you are in a good mood and you are ready for my new video because today I want to show you new information and updates about the upcoming Season 8 and Call of Duty Mobile that you must know. If you have subscribed to me, activate the notifications if you haven't done so yet. We are close to 100,000 subscribers on my channel. Otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter or Telegram for the latest updates about COD Mobile. Let's get started with the video. Enjoy! Several hours ago, the official test server of the Chinese version of Call of Duty Mobile was released, which provides us with some information about the next season. As many already know, we can expect two new weapons in Call of Duty Mobile for Season 8, on the one hand, we can surely look forward to the powerful M13 assault rifle, which some of you might know from Modern Warfare. The M13 is a fully automatic assault rifle that has low damage for an assault rifle. Up to a range of 30 meters, at least 5 shots are required to kill an enemy, although this number can be lowered to 4 or even 3 shots for headshots. Beyond that distance, 6 shots are required. Fortunately, the M13 has a high rate of fire of 891 rounds per minute. That's faster than most other fully automatic assault rifles, LMGs and SMGs. Time to kill isn't particularly fast, as multiple shots are required, but the weapon's rate of fire makes it more forgiving if a few shots miss. The M13 handles very well for an assault rifle in general. Movement speed is reasonable. ADS speed is among the fastest in the class, and hipfire dispersion is average but doable thanks to the high rate of fire. The rifle comes with a standard 30 round magazine, but the high rate of fire and low damage mean that this ammo will be used up quickly. In addition, we will receive a new shotgun for Season 8 that was already playable in Modern Warfare and was also found in the test server. We are talking about the R90 shotgun from Modern Warfare. The R90 shotgun, also known as the DP-12, is a shotgun that was introduced in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and later appeared in Call of Duty Mobile. It is a high-capacity weapon that can fire two barrels in rapid succession before being pumped. With a 14-round magazine, you'll be able to shred multiple enemies at close range without having to reload. As an aside, this weapon can also be found in the single-player campaign and is called the DP-12. Personally, I'm really looking forward to the new shotgun and the new M13 assault rifle in the upcoming season in Call of Duty Mobile. Now that we've taken a look at the two new weapons, let's take a look at the 6th Mythic Weapons skin that will most likely be coming to COD Mobile in the new season. In the last months the development team of the game has released a Mythic Weapon skin in the following season after a legendary character skin in the game which is why I am so sure that a new mythic weapon will be released in the new season. In the in-game files of the Chinese test server of Call of Duty mobile audio files for the upcoming Mythic M13 weapon skin were discovered and with it the proof that the Mythic M13 Forerunner will be released for the new season 8. Already in the first test server update for the upcoming season you could get a first impression of the upcoming mythic weapon skin from an unfinished model in the in-game files. The mythic skin for the new M13 weapon of the next season has a great resemblance to the redesigned AK-117 fighter skin and a geometry series of skins like HG-40 and XPR-50. I personally am very happy that we will see the new mythic M13 skin called Forerunner in the next season. Feel free to post in the comments below my video if you think the Mythic M13 Forerunner will be released in Season 8 or not. It's all about you. Now I want to show you the upcoming new Operator skill that was discovered in the latest test server update for the global version and will be released in the next season. The Tag 5 known from Black Ops 4 allows the user and his teammates to heal and gives them 50 additional health points, indicated by two additional yellow health bars. 
with normal healing, these extra health points cannot be restored once lost however, if the extended health bar is only partially depleted they can be restored. For Season 8, a new tactical grenade called Laser Drone will also appear in Call of Duty Mobile which was found in the test server. When deployed, the tracking drone will track an enemy player nearby with a small laser and follow them across the map until they are destroyed or another option is available. Which of the new features from the test server so far would you be most excited to see released for Season 8? Write me your answers in the comment function. Now we look at the new lucky draw with more interesting rewards which will be released in Call of Duty Mobile in the next few days. AA after the first legendary VK57 skin called Space Race in Season 13 Winter War, the game's development team releases the already second blueprint for the BK57 assault rifle. The new BK57 in Flash Freeze immediately stands out with its modified look, white and blue striped fabric and eye-catching reactive combo as we can see. In addition, the legendary BK57 has a very good iron sights with blue accents that will possibly give you an advantage over your opponents in ranked matches. The stock and generally the whole weapon are modified and as I said covered with a fabric that has zippers. Furthermore you can see on the upcoming weapon an inscription with the words, Danger. I'm really looking forward to the second legendary BK57 skin in the game and hope that most of you can pull on the new legendary lucky draw then in the next few days. After we have dealt with the new multiplayer content, we now look at the upcoming battle royale news and features that you absolutely have to know. First of all, the first teaser for the upcoming season 8 of Call of Duty Mobile was published on YouTube a few days ago, which I don't want to withhold from you. In the short teaser video you can see the train station from the Battle Royale Blackout map from Black Ops 4. Furthermore, Call of Duty Mobile released another teaser video in which another location from the Battle Royale Blackout map can be seen, we are talking about the Hydro Dam location from Black Ops 4. Although Call of Duty Mobile itself has not released an official confirmation or an official statement about the new BR map, after these two teaser videos it is seeger sure that we will see the blackout map for season 8. Like the video if you are looking forward to a new battle royale adventure. In addition, for the new season 8 we can look forward to a new battle royale class that was also found in the last test server and is known as Grasshopper. The new battle royale class allows you to increase the amount of gas injection and the speed of nitrogen recovery. Also, you have the ability to jump with the associated jetpack and shoot at the same time which does but increase emissions. Furthermore, in the new season 8 there will be no medikits or adrenaline shots because we will finally get the new health system for battle royale and we will only have to use shield plates to heal ourselves in the game. Otherwise, in the new test server of the Chinese version in Battle Royale, we discovered some jets flying in the air, which should mean the end of the isolated map. Are you looking forward to the new Blackout map in Call of Duty Mobile? As always, write me your opinion or thoughts about it in the comments. Last but not least, we take a look at the upcoming Season 8 Battle Pass and the rewards we'll get from buying it. Because in the comics of the current Season 7 Elite of the Elite we discovered new characters with new skins that have not yet been released in the game. Also, for the first time, the Artery character was a shown in the comic, which may mean that we will get an Artery character skin in the new Battle Pass. Already a month ago COD Mobile gave a hint about a BP character skin. Which character skin do you think could appear in the new Battle Pass for Season 8? Write it in the comments. Thank you for watching my new video until the end. I hope I could inform and entertain you. Check out my other videos on my channel if you like. Have a good day, evening or night, as I don't know when you will watch the video. Until the next time. I'm out. Bye. Was der Junge draußen tut, habe unendliche Wut, schlage zu bis zum Blut, tritt die Glut.
gut aus, sieht zu gut aus, Blutrausch Ich lebe meinen Rausch, Tag ein Tag aus Ich fang auf der Couch, Kopf rein und die Smoke Dazu Coke, alles dope, morgen sind wir broke Fick den Start, Überfall, ist der Plan, Kopf erfahren und deshalb unterwegs